Flag given, all clear, they sprinting away from the 1,000 metre marker. Love bombs out the back of the field early on. Ziva de Graz there, Kingsky Stune with the blue cap is on the outside. Galactica is near the rail, then Emerald Flow. Winter Whistle's about four lengths off the leader. Hello High's been niggled at and Love Bombs on the outside, now second to last. They stretched out six or seven lengths as they moved to the 600. Kingsky's tune a length and a quarter. Galactico's at the rail. And Ziva de Gra, the redhead, gives back in third. Winter Whistle's getting the wake-up call. Emerald flows towards the outside, then comes Love Bomb. 300 metres to travel, Kings Kiss Tune the leader, Ziva de Gra, Love Bomb's making up big ground on the outside after being slow into stride, and Love Bomb comes exploding into action inside the 200, and that's it, Love Bomb to win by three lands. So Love Bomb, after being slow, wins three to four. Second, Ziva de Gra, then came Winter Whistle and Kings Kiss Tune. Number seven, a love bomb. Well done to Frank Robinson and the Whitakers. And the Oratorio, after being sluggish into stride, makes up the ground in a couple of strides. And look at this, gets eased up at the line. It pays up at 10 Rand and 4.30. Wins by four to five lengths. Number seven, love bomb. Ziva de Gra runs into second position. Third place will go to the tote favourite, number two, Winter Whistle, and fourth to number eight, Kingsky's Tune, and then came Emerald Flow. So as we look at this, Love Bomb on the extreme right-hand side, just a flick down the neck, and then a second one, and then just in a matter of strides, Love Bomb comes to good and goes on to score and wins it by that four or five lens. That's the running of the first race. Until the running of the second, back to the studio. Uh, we've just seen the running of race number one and the daughter of Oratorio, Love Bomb, has come through to win. Well done to the Whitakers. See, they also bred this with Mr. Wigert and uh, Sean Veal doing duty for uh, Frank. And Frank just telling me off here that uh, uh, she's a type of filly that shows him a lot back home. You really like her back home, Frank. Yeah, listen, she's got everything. Um, her mother was a superstar. Her mother won by five links in the Maidens. She went back to the to the yard and the next day she rolled in the box and fractured a hock and she never raced again but she was a really good um, uh, filly so I mean they bred a few with her and they lost them and this was the only one that ended up living eventually yes. and uh, from day one she's always looked like a, a, a good filly she reminds me a lot of that filly Chocolicious I had you know she's just got everything temperament if you watch her barrier trial she ran off the track and then at the turn she moved up nicely and Sean didn't punish her obviously because she'd done a lot so the barrier trial wasn't a good indicator yes. but at home her work was excellent I think she's a filly that'll go all the way I honestly rate her highly well, we wish you all the best to the positive comments coming through, Frank. Later on, you've got some nice runners. Anything you can guide us in the right direction with? I think Candle Cove over 14 today will be a big runner. I think that's what he's been looking for. He's been running on all the time, and it looks the right race for him. So I think he's my next best. I just want to say well done to Greg Whitaker, who's a very good friend of mine. And obviously, Gavin bred it together, and then Greg took it over and owns it. Now, he's actually his wife owns it, so he's got to, he's got to hand over the money when he gets home. And uh, just a comment on a horse like Viking, uh, he's, he's a horse that seemed to just lost confidence, Frank. If you look at his run before last, it was a very good run. He's a, he's a difficult horse because he travels well, but he's only got 50 kilos today. So he's a runner. He must, you must include him in the exotics as well. Thanks for that, Frank. Thanks very much. Lovely. Sean Veal's going to tell us more about this filly. And uh, Frank touched on the barrier trial where things did not go according to plan, but uh, she certainly showed her ability at the track this afternoon. You know, when I came to the first time down in the barrier trial, she was all over the show. And then uh, in the barrier show, she was all over the show. And then quickened when I shook her up. Today, came to down. Frank said she did the improvement. I thought she, I, I heard him talking about Robbie Zos and uh, I respected it. But at the same time, this fully, if she done the improvement, Frank said, I said to him when I got off this, I said, Frank, please don't take me off this one. I said, I, I think I can win a little feature with this fully. And uh, I just... I'm just so grateful that Frank kept me on the ride, you know. But also, this filly, I think she can run. She's got a lot of ability. 
I just hope Frank looks after her temperament. She, she feels like one who can go a little bit over the top, but uh, Frank's done a good job with his team and this filly looks superb in the ring, even cantering yeah. down. She was still a bit green today, but at the 600 was race over. Just well, you know, while I'm here, this well done to the track manager. We're always giving him stick about this and that. Today, the track is in superb condition. So well done to him. He doesn't get a lot of credit for this track and uh, he's done a superb job today. Even uh, you, we, I was sitting at the back, there was no kickback today. Normally it's like a sand track and, uh, you know, it's a good day's racing today. Okay, you got one on the board. Uh, you could be a man to follow later on. This, I got one in the last race for Mr. Rivlin, you know. It's a bad race, so I'm hoping because he is supposed to be my best ride today. So I'm hoping more than anything that he truly obliges for me. If he doesn't, just well done to Frank and the owners for the opportunity. And to my wife and my two boys, this one's for them. Nice one. Thank you. Lovely. And then uh, let's get the, the winning groom in. His name is Sapiso, and getting his thousand rand from uh, Sipasele, representing Hollywood Bets Argyle Yusuf team member. Thank you to the winning groom there who is uh, Sipiso. Okay, that's a wrap of race number one. The start of the bipod is done and dusted. Up next will be race number two. Place accumulated time. Time to jot down. There will be 13.30. Up push one.